Guys, we're in Sydney looking at a court building. If you guys are architecture buffs, you might like this. This used to be a department store. And you can tell because there's remnants of it. It says Mark Foy is here and then linens, silks, hosiery, shoes, laces, gloves, mourning, corsets, flowers. And so it's written there. Hopefully you can see it. And so this was a massive, you know, department store built in 1885. I just was talking to some locals who knew. And um, so it's been changed to local courts. And, you know, these remnants of the, pa of the past are quite evident in the structure of the building, specifically. If you, uh... If you imagine just shoppers going in and out of these. I'm trying to get out of the sun right now. Okay, I'm out of the sun. Um, people walking along the sidewalk here and then this would be a uh, grand entrance. And you can see these large windows all along the building here, which would have been displays for the clothes or whatever the stores would be selling. And there's a bit of a uniqueness to the building. It's got this you know, distinct tile work, it's white and then it's yellow and there's some type of design up there. I can't really make out what it is right now. And there are lions here that are connected to the poles that are upholding the awning right here. So, uh, pretty interesting spot as well as, uh, what else does it have here? I don't know the architectural words, but I'll call them like teeth right up there. It's detail, it's architectural detail. So it's all over the place here and the even the ceiling of the overhang is decorated. And I'll show that to you guys in a second. Maybe I'll cross the road here and then show it to you. And then I'm gonna show you the front as well and show you the big display cases. I thought it was a museum because there's a sign. Oh, it's right here, I'll show you. That says museum station entrance. So I just assumed museum was in reference to this building. It's big and unique as museums often are. So I thought I was walking into a museum and I ended up walking into a court building as a confused tourist, so. Let's, uh, here. Gotta get across the street. Show you, it says Downing Center there. You've got some unique, uh, I don't know what you call it, roofs, roof line there too. And I'm gonna cross the street again. I'll show you the front of it with these huge glass encasements and I'll show you what's in them because they relate to Australian history as we wait for the cars here. There we go. Okay, so museum entrance first just to show you what I was talking about. Here's the entrance, probably to the subway. Museum station entrance and then here's the unique ceiling work I was telling you about. And then these would have been stores. And this is, oh, Mark Foy's subway. And I'm guessing Mark Foy used to have been the name of the, I guess, department store. I'm not sure if it's still in existence or not, but the building has Mark Foy written all over it. And here is the end here. Give you a look at what they've done to it. So there is maybe the Australian crest. I'm not sure. There's a kangaroo. There's a lion. And there are the Australian colors of red, white, and blue and a cross with some... It looks like a... Uh, 
Latin letters saying Orta Versens Quam Hura Nites, which in English translates to something. Or translates to I don't know. But again, there's that design where really unique building. Love it. And you know, this would have been the grand entrance to the store. And these are the display cases to my right and to my left. And I'll show you what's in them. It looks to be Aboriginal art. So now we've got Aboriginal art in place of what used to be probably consumer goods. And then just empty display cases. So again, remnants of the past of, of what used to be display cases and get them. To show you more of this Aboriginal art, pretty interesting and politically Aboriginals in Australia are interesting because reading an article how they don't have that much power within the country supposedly because Aboriginal people aren't just one group of people that they're made up of several different groups several different tribes I'm saying tribes I don't know if that's the correct usage but different distinct groups with their own languages so supposedly they don't have that much political power because they're not one big united group and so Aboriginals and their status within Australian society is a big hot topic in Australia, in Australian politics in general, uh, currently. So, hopefully this just gives you a taste of the building, of the art, of history essentially. and of Sydney. And this is what it looks out to. The museum station. Right on the corner of Hyde Park. So guys, that's where I'll conclude. Maybe I'll do a final look back, yeah. Oh shit. Oh. Cars are coming my way. Maybe I'll do just a final look back onto the uh, onto the building for you, so you get a clear look at it. There it is. That's all. That's all I got.